Hey everybody, Zach again at NewTutor.com coming in and making a video for you today. I've uh, been stirring the pot lately. Let's see if I can keep going. Um, so someone sent me this email and I'll just go ahead and read it to you. My daughter made it out of the hospital after two weeks of five of which was ICU. Praise Yahweh, but she is still ill. Zach, something is still wrong with this movement. Why are we mostly powerless of sickness? Wasn't this promised to us? Do a video on this. It may be you in my spot next time. You never know. And so um, that was sent by Donna. And Donna, I totally, um, I feel I feel very bad for you. And I mean, I, my heart goes out to people who have, who because I, I get a lot of these emails, Donna, a lot. And I understand that one day I may be in your position. And uh, thankfully, uh, the Father has blessed us with good health. And um, we, that's one of the things we continually pray for. In fact, every Shabbat, I, 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 when, I, when I give blessings to my two boys, I pray for their good health, that he will always bless them with good health. Uh, when I give my blessing to my wife, I, I pray good health over her. Um, so it's something that uh, is very formal, because number one, we don't have health insurance. Um, and my health insurance is in him and what we eat and what we, how we treat our bodies. So uh, that's my health insurance. I do, I do have VA health insurance. I do. But uh, even that, you know, costs money and it's not perfect. It's government insurance. And so you, you know how that goes. Anyway, I get these emails a lot. People asking, hey, Zach, man, you know, where is the power? Where is the Ruach? Where is the Holy Spirit in these last days? Where is the power that we saw that was promised to us in Scripture, in the New Testament, when our Messiah spoke, and the power that the disciples had? I really don't need to go through all the Scriptures because most of you are familiar with all those because you keep sending them to me. I get it. Um, the verse I want, the direction I want to go with this video is that um, it's not here yet. Okay, and I know some people are really going to take. I mean, you, it really gets people's hot buttons, man. When you start telling them the ruach, the ruach is not here yet. It's he's coming. He's coming. Um, am I saying that the Holy Spirit does not actually work in our lives today? Absolutely not. I have seen the Holy Spirit work work amazing things uh, in my walk. Okay. Um, I have. I know that prayer works. I know that healing actually happens. My issue is, and what I'm going to try to explain to you today is that I don't think it happens anytime we want it. I some of the, you know, there's a great meme out there today, and it goes like this: You don't find faith healers at the hospital for the same reason you don't see any psychics winning the lottery. Let, read that again. You don't see faith healers at the hospital for the same reason you don't see any psychics winning the lottery. What's the connection? They're both frauds. I'm just going to throw it out there. They're both frauds. And you got guys out there like, you know, some of these, um, you know, you know who they are. These guys out there and they're they're performing all these so-called so miracles and they're frauds. I'm just telling you. I, mean, I know people out there, millions of people donate money to them. Maybe some of you do. But they're frauds. They're outright frauds, and um, they're they're bilking you for your money, and they're bilking lots of other people for their money, and you don't see those guys going to the ICU. There's been, I mean, 20, 20, 60 minutes. I mean, you, there's all kinds of exposés out there exposing these people, Robert Tilson and some of these idiots, and, and they're frauds. So, um, you know, and, and some people are going to disagree with me on that. Fine. But I'm telling you they're frauds. However, the Holy Spirit still does work, and the Holy Spirit is still active in, in our lives when it choose, when He chooses to be. Um, you cannot invoke the Holy Spirit like is seen every Sunday throughout much of Christian Protestant churches. Invoke the Holy Spirit and then go out for lunch and sit down and eat a ham sandwich and expect that to be real. You can't do that. You just, it's, you just can't. I, I'm not saying, again, that the Holy Spirit does not work in many of these churches. You know, when he chooses to. When he chooses, when the Father chooses to manifest his Holy Spirit, he, it happens. Uh, and I know many of you have seen it. I have seen it. However, um, I think we need to be really careful. Because the power that you see in the New Testament with our Messiah and with his disciples and with Paul is not here yet. Those people are far disconnected from where we are today. Okay, we are coming out of the pig patch. You know, 
the the younger son who was who went out amongst the nations and 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 the parable of the prodigal son son and he woke up amongst the pigs well, that's us right now we're waking up amongst the pigs let's go and here's how i want to best explain this let's go to ezekiel chapter 37 and i'm more interested in i guess starting at uh verse 8 it says when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came up upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. No breath in them. That word breath right there is ruach. Okay? So um, you guys know, I, I, I'm, I'm a firm believer that we are in the last days. Okay? I've given many reasons on that. I've done lots of videos on that and why the reasons we I believe we're in the last days. And in these last days, people are waking up to Torah. The number one reason I give is that there is an awakening back to Torah. All the prophets you know, had the same message, go back to the law of God, repent for the kingdom is at hand. And it's the same message our Messiah had when he came and walked this earth, repent for the kingdom is, is at hand. And that's the gospel. Okay. And Paul, when he's talking about the gospel, he's talking about the message that our Messiah had, repent for the kingdom is at hand. Okay. It's the same message all throughout eternity. Turn back to my commandments. Okay. So, we're living in a time when that's happening. The churches know it, and they don't know what to do about it. And people are going back. They're opening it. They're finding validity in the Torah. They're finding validity in his feasts. They're finding validity in his commandments. They understand that there are blessings and there are curses associated with disobedience or obedience. And they're turning back to it. Let's continue reading. Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus says the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain that they may live. So I prophesied, and he commanded me, and the breath, the ruach, came into them, and they lived, and they stood upon their feet, an exceeding great army. Now, folks, this has been one of the most speculated, you know, pieces of all scripture in your church. Growing up in Christian churches, all kinds of people have opinions on what's going on here. I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to submit to you, that it's the greater exodus. It's the, it's the awakening you're seeing right now of people waking up to Torah. It's that flesh being put back on the bones, the sinews. It's this army that's standing up, does not yet have the breath, does not yet have the ruach in them. Folks, we are, you know, 2,000 years removed of what was real and have been, you know, we're a, a bunch of people who have inherited lives from our fathers. You know, you just don't get the Ruach back like that. It just does not happen. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he works here and there. We've seen it. But, folks, the majority, what you see in the New Testament is not going to happen right now. Not like that. We need the Ruach to come back. And it's up to him when it happens. Right now, you're seeing the awakening. You're seeing the dry bones becoming flesh again. Uh, and, you're, and you're seeing them stand up. Stand up. What we're waiting for is the Ruach to come back. It's going to come back. How do I know this is the right interpretation and context? Read the next verse, folks. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, our bones are dried and our hope is lost. We are cut off for our parts. Remember the words of our Messiah. Go back to Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. I'm not sent, but for the lost sheep of the house of Israel, he said. The house of Israel. Folks, all throughout your scriptures, I mean, I have done video after video after video on this. There's the house of Judah and there's the house of Israel, or sometimes called the house of Ephraim or house of Joseph. They're synonymous. They're the same house. The house of Judah, the house of Israel. I am not come before the lost sheep of the house of Israel, he says. And it says right here, Ezekiel 37, the whole house of Israel. This is the house of Israel that went out amongst the nations, that, that was prophesied by Jacob to Joseph's son, his grandson, Ephraim, saying, you will be made great amongst the nations, and you're going to forget the Torah. It's going to be counted at, to you as a strange thing. Well, now you have... Ephraim, the house of Israel, waking up to Torah and taking Torah, grabbing onto it and making it their own. You have the bones with the flesh now, these dry bones standing up, but they're waiting for the Ruach. So why do we not have this power? It's not here yet. But my friends, my, my message to you, or my opinion, my belief is that it's coming. It's coming. We have to be patient and wait for it. You know, we're still going to see manifestations of the Holy Spirit. We're still going to see healings. We're still going to see prayers being answered. But let me say that 
we ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> it's coming. We must be patient. We must be prayerful, and we must just wait and see and watch the world around us, staying focused, being discern, having discerning eyes on what's going on around us, on what is real and what is not. It's interesting times we live in, and people are being led astray by all kinds of garbage out there. And, you know, just much of what I talk about on my videos, we got to stay focused. We have to understand that the Torah is still valid, okay? It leads us back to Messiah, and that our Messiah had the same message that all the prophets had before him. Repent, turn back to the commandments of God, you know, and him dying for our sins was the salvation we needed, you know, to be returning back to the Father. That was the, has, has always been the real gospel. So why do we not have the Ruach yet? It's because it hasn't gotten here yet. The Ruach is not here yet. We'll leave it at that. Go home, read your Bible. Thanks.